What's up, everyone? Aaron Nagler here for PackersNews.com. I'm here with Michael Cohen of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Michael, obviously the news in Packerland, the headline is the hiring of Mike Pettin to be the defensive coordinator, former head coach for the Cleveland Browns, longtime defensive assistant. Looking at the Packers, what he's inheriting, what do you think his biggest challenges will be going forward? I think the biggest thing is he has to find a way to teach what people say is a very complex system in a way that some of these defensive backs in particular can understand without any sort of mental errors or mistakes that happened on a regular basis the way that they did this season. And so essentially he has to find ways to communicate to the Demarius Randles, the Josh Hawkins, the Kevin Kings, the Morgan Burnett's uh, if he comes back and, and obviously ha ha Clinton Dix, you have to teach them the system in a way that they can play freely in what is a very blitz happy, very um, mysterious, very multiple defense. And so that is probably easier said than done, but that's why whoever he picks as assistant coaches, those selections are going to be extremely important because those position coaches have to be extremely good teachers, a number one bottom line. Do you think he'd bring in somebody from outside? I mean, I know a lot's been written and talked about as far as Jim Leonard following both Petten and Rex Ryan throughout their careers. Um, you know, Ed Reed was on Rex Ryan's staff in Buffalo. Do you think maybe perhaps he looks outside to a past player or a coach in specifically to help him teach this team? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I, I was reading a bunch of articles just like you were on um, the other night, you know, when this news broke. And it seems like whether it's him or Ryan, there seems to be this sort of pack of guys that follows each other from job to job and also players as well you know Jim Leonard played for them in Baltimore New York Buffalo and Cleveland which is just which is just crazy but um you know I I wouldn't surprise me at all if he went back into his own coaching tree and mixed in some of those guys because if, if your system is really as as complex and as um, you know, detailed and as, you know, variable as theirs seems to be, you have to make sure that the guys you have can teach it correctly. And so I'm sure he'll meet with the uh, Darren Perry's, the Joe Witts, the Winston Mosses, just to see if there's a vibe there, or if he thinks it can work. But if he doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised at all if he brought in some other guys just to supplement what's already here. Well, there you go. All the latest from Green Bay. Make sure you're checking PackersNews.com for all the latest. For Michael, I'm Aaron. We'll talk to you soon.